Uh, ministers, colleagues, thank you for inviting me to address this meeting of the Coalition of Finance Ministers for Climate Action. The OECD has been a key institutional partner of this coalition since its founding. And as a former finance minister myself, I know the coalition has the potential to make a powerful contribution to mobilizing ambitious action on climate. Uh, addressing climate change effectively and efficiently requires global leadership and a strong, globally coordinated approach. Uh, recent momentum behind countries' climate commitments is very encouraging. However, if we are to meet the goals of the Paris Agreement, then ambition and commitments on their own are not enough. We need to turn them into real actions and real outcomes. So far, insufficient details are available on how countries aim to achieve their announced targets on mitigation, adaptation and financing. We need better, more comparable data and information on the policies that will drive the transition to net zero, including their impacts on people and communities. With its multidisciplinary competence covering both macroeconomic and structural policies across almost all areas of economic activity, the OECD is well positioned to help address this gap. Our new International Programme for Action on Climate will complement the work of the UN Framework Convention on Climate Change and help participating countries track and assess their progress against commitments and improve their climate action plans through targeted policy advice and comparable indicators. The IPAC's preliminary dashboard, which we just delivered at our annual OECD Ministerial Council meeting last week, has clear comparable indicators on progress towards climate goals. We're also presenting a progress report on the IPAC's Climate Action Monitor at COP26 next month as a key OECD deliverable. The OECD is working with countries to also help them adopt green budgeting, including working closely with the coalition to develop guidance under the Paris Collaborative on Green Budgeting. To help facilitate an ambitious but internationally more coherent, globally better coordinated approach to the pricing of emissions, we are also launching a new initiative to support a better understanding of both explicit and implicit carbon pricing efforts, building on our experience of the inclusive framework in relation to our international tax reform proposals. The aim is to help ensure that more ambitious action on climate change is pursued in a way that is both effective and fair. Effective in that it leads to a reduction in global emissions instead of just shifting emissions to other parts of the world. And fair in that every country carries a fair share of the burden. Recognizing a diversity of policy approaches to cater for a diversity of circumstances around the world, the challenge is to ensure that a necessary lifting in ambition and effort does not lead to negative and counterproductive distortions, from competitiveness implications to carbon leakage to trade tensions. Indeed, it's about how best to preserve a global level playing field while lifting ambition and effort on climate to the level required through an appropriately comprehensive, coherent global approach. To achieve this, our proposed initiative will assess and report on explicit and implicit carbon pricing efforts around the world as a way to inform such a more coherent, globally coordinated way forward. Finally, the OECD will advance a policy framework to integrate environmental, social and governance factors that support a just net zero transition. This is to include definitions, principles and due diligence guidance for sustainable and climate-related finance. Through our research, analysis and convening power, we're doing everything we can to support countries manage the net zero transition in an environmentally effective, economically responsible and publicly supported way that will not leave people behind. Our organization is fully committed to help secure globally coordinated, appropriately ambitious, effective and measurable action on climate change where every jurisdiction makes a genuinely proportionate and verifiable contribution in pursuit of the overall global net zero objective. So let us work together to define solid pathways to achieve the goals of the Paris Agreement and ensure a successful COP26. Thank you for listening to me.